Visco. which is over here, the DC, in and GND and also I have connected another wire which is to the master controller over here Alright, so next, we will need to connect with the RS485 interface between the master controller and the subcontroller to link with each other So, you can be using one of the 3 wire wire pin 3 wire cable and then to uh, just plug in with the, uh, the the box over here, the interface over here, and then just connect with the one of the RS485 interface over the subcontroller, and also uh, connect with this uh, master controller as well. So I can 
can be that as I've done the wiring, I just directly plug in the module over here. Okay, so last thing for the wiring is you need to do the linkage output. Also connect between the master controller to the subcontroller as well. So here, you also can be prepared for the two wire and then just connect directly with the uh, this LC. The linkage input and linkage output over here. And then as well as another wire. Okay, so last thing, you will need to connect with the card reader as well. So card reader, you can, uh, for card reader over here, I'm using the RS485 interface to connect with the master, uh, master elevator controller and also with a sub controller. So, uh, from here, I'm using a RS485, you can check with the, uh, this card reader label over here. So for the 485A and B, I will connect to the A plus and A minus uh, over the master controller over here as um, need to connect with this interface that need to be linked with this um, master controller and sub controller for the card reader and also we will we'll need to connect with the GMD as well lah. also with uh, power and the, uh, the power supply so you can use the 12V and also GND to connect with the power supply over here Okay, so other than that, actually, you if, if let's say you're not using the RS485 interface, you want to use a vegan, it's also able to use, which for the master controller here, we'll have two vegan interfaces. Okay, so next, the last thing we'll need to do is configure the DIP switch. So for the master controller, the DIP switch will be remain uh, unchanged, which you don't need to change anything for the master controller here. And for the sub controller here, for the board 1 and 2, you will need to set to 1, which is on, which it allows to be uh, configured with for this subcontroller to 16 block. And then last thing for the card controller, as I'm using a RS485 interface, so I just turn on the DIP switch to 1, which uh, to give this as, as a door 1 and also with an entrance. Okay, so this is uh, about the wiring part between how to do the how to do the wiring for the master controller to the sub controller as well as end up with a card reader. So next, I will show how to do the setup and add the device at this uh, elevator controller device through the IBMS uh, four two zero zero. Okay, so first, we need to activate the device. So you can open with your SATP tools and then to search for the device. So, tick the device and then set with the device password you prefer. After that, we need to change with the IP address. So we can set the IP address accordingly to our gateway. Okay, remember to change the HTTP port uh, to uh, whatever you like except for the zero and also with the negative number. After that, let's key in again with the administrator password and then we click for the bot button. Okay, so next, we are going to add this elevator controller to the IBMS 4200. Okay, so here we are inside the IBMS 4200. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the elevator controller inside the IBMS 4200. So in order to do that, I can click on this device management and then I can click on the online device and then to search for the device and then I just tick for the device and then I click on the add button so name here can be put any name so maybe it's elevator controller then make sure the IP address is correct and then with a username and password for the device after that I just tick on this synchronous time and I click on this add button okay so, so now for this device is online Okay, so after have successfully added the device, so next thing, you can go to the groups over here. After that, you can select with the elevator controller here, and then with the access point. After that, you can be select all, and then click on the delete button. So next, you can be import here again, and then to select the floor you want over here. So maybe it's a 15th floor only, so I can select with floor 1 until 415. After that, I click on the input button and then I close it. So here we'll have a 
uh, floor from floor 1 to floor 15. Okay, so next thing I'm going to add a person and then assign the person to the, uh, this elevator controller. So first thing I can go for the person here, and then I just can create a new person, and then the name is the person. After that, I just select the card, and then with my settings, and then my card reader, and then to select with the elevator controller. After that, I can click on the red button, and then to read with the cut. Okay, so after I read, click on the red button, and then I click add. So we should have a new person, which is called Vincent. So after that, I can go for the uh, this menu, and then go for the access control. Okay, after, and when we are inside access control, I click on the authorization, and then for the access control here. And then I can click on the name button and then to create with a access group for the So maybe here is no flow. Then I can select with the person which just I added. And also with a elevator controller, which is the access point. And then over here actually you can select with each of the floor you have been selected to allow with this person to be accessed. Uh, so for this person maybe I want he have a all floor also able to accessible so I can select all and then I click on the save button and then I just click here and to apply changes to the device after it is no problem next thing we are going to go for the advanced function here and then we can scroll down for the more parameters here ok so more parameters and then to select with the elevator controller just now and then for the M1 card encryption, we need to be activate and then to save it. Okay, so this is all about uh, how to configure and then add this elevator controller. So next, I'm going to show how the demonstration about uh, the, ele the elevator controller works. So here it comes with the demonstration card. So first, if uh, let's say I'm using the, uh, the card, which is just how I added the person with all floor accessible. So I'm scanning with the card. Then it will be open all the floor for this person. So next, if let's say I have added with another person, which is only access for the floor one to floor five. So when I scan it, so it only open the floor one to floor five to the person. So the person only able to select the floor, which is from floor one to floor five. scan with the person with the card then it will open all the floor for this person ok so next I I have added with another person so which only access for floor, floor 1 to floor 5 so if I let's say I use the person card to scan inside the using the card reader over here then it will open the first 5 floor for it so this is all about the demonstration part and then let's move on to another section. Okay, so this is the end of the video on how to configure and set up with the master controller and the subcontroller as well as pair with the card reader. So thank you for your listening and watching. Visco.